Good morning everyone. I want to talk a little bit about how to drive the Z-axis on a 3D printer. Uh, we are looking now at a Prusa i3 and how Prusa normally solves this problem of how you can move this bridge up and down is doing it by two motors on two sides uh, which saves a difficult mechanism. Uh, the downside is that if one motor jams then the whole stuff uh, moves and then you have to uh, recalibrate it which is annoying how for example the Orca and uh, many other printers have solved it is uh, you have also these two spindles on two sides and they are driven by only one motor and there is a timing belt that you can see because it's hidden under the, under the bottom plate and this moves uh, the two rods together the good thing is uh, that you, while printing, you can turn this motor and then for the first layer can manually adjust um, the height of the first layer, which is very nice. Uh, the downside, of course, is that you need uh, one more uh, timing belt and some other construction to, to do it. So I had a little experiment for making parallel motion with only one axis and the idea is that there is a rope here is the rope and the rope basically goes here and here and here that's one rope and the other rope goes from here here and here so it is a diagonal that goes over these two points and the other diagonal as well which means that it can only move straight because I've, if I want to make it not straight then I put tension on the rope and of course the rope uh, resists uh, this movement and it works quite well because it stays straight and for example I could make one motor here and then by moving this I can move it all the way here. What I don't like about this is that I made it here with uh, ball bearings and I printed uh, some kind of pulley on it and of course if this pulley is not straight on the ball bearing it starts wobbling and which means that the whole position of the X is going to wobble as well um, and of course these are also not perfectly round uh, in other words uh, like this it is a bad idea um, but I think if there is some kind of uh, sliding bearing it can work much better and of course the other question is is this much simpler than making a, um, a construction like for example the Orca bot I don't know. I just like this and I wanted to share it with you.